On this week's show, we check out a new innovative spare tire storage system from Roadmaster Inc. Then, Jeff Johnston checks out the new Winnebago Travato Class B. Plus, Yvonne Schmarter, our queen of small kitchen cooking, creates a very unique dish I've never heard of called Bircher. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. Greetings, Jeff Johnston here. Though a lot of motorhome owners enjoy doing their own maintenance and repair. For some of them, that includes changing their own tires in the event that they have a flat. But most owners, especially on big coaches like this, leave that up to Good Sam Road Service or something, someone along those lines. Well, even if you have road service available, if you have a flat tire on a, a special tire size on a coach like this and you're out in the middle of nowhere, for example, you may be out of luck because the local dealer doesn't have a tire. And if the wheel happens to have been damaged in the course of the flat, well, how long are you going to wait for that to show up by postage or shipping in somewhere? Roadmaster has come up with a solution for carrying a spare tire that lets you have a lot more control of the situation because that way you have your spare tire in the correct size, maybe mounted on an inexpensive steel wheel compared to one of these guys, it's really costly, and it just makes your whole uh, driving situation a little bit less stressful, maybe a little more reliable. Let's take a closer look. Hi, this is uh, an introduction to Roadmaster's new spare tire carrier for motorhomes. And essentially what we've learned is that none of the coaches come with spares or spare wheels. And a lot of customers would like to take that along with them. But there's never really been a good way to do that and until now. Uh, Roadmaster's motorhome spare tire carrier actually inserts into the receiver of the motorhome, allowing you to mount a spare tire. And it could be a 16 inch, a 16.5, a 19.5, a 22.5, or even up to a 24 inch wheel will all fit on this one spare tire carrier. It simply inserts into the receiver on the motorhome. So if you're towing a car, it still has a receiver built into it so that you can continue to tow. And it doesn't matter which brand, it just simply has a two inch receiver. So whether it's a tow bar, a bike rack, or some other hitch accessory, um, you're still ready to go, but you can still take your spare and your wheel with you. To lower the spare tire carrier, there's a secret little compartment back here where your leverage handle is stored and we're gonna extend that up, pin it back into place, and now there's an auto latch on the back side. All you do is pull up on the handle, that releases the lock, and now you're just gonna walk it down and just use this lever bar to lower it to the ground. Now that it's on the ground, you can take off your lug nuts, you can roll your spare over to the side that needs to be changed, take your flat, roll it back up to the carrier, mount that, back onto the tire carrier and now all you got to do is raise it back up. So again, get out here to the end, use the bar as a leverage arm, walk it on up. And when it gets fully vertical, it'll automatically lock in the vertical position. And that's because of our auto latch. Now we will unpin the lever bar, lower it back down, pin it in place, and you're good to go. As I mentioned earlier, this tire carrier fits 16 inch all the way up to 24 inch tires and wheels. In kind of keeping with that one size fits all, when it comes to the receiver portion of the tire carrier, we have several different pin holes. There's two pin holes, one here and one just behind this collar. And that allows you to slide your tow bar in or out or your hitch accessory in or out uh, for a variety of different applications. That way your tire and wheel can pivot up and down to the ground cleanly. Also, in order to get a better fit to the back of your coach, there's two pinholes built into the stinger. Uh, and those pinholes are actually threaded. And the reason for that is so that we can literally bolt the stinger into the receiver, giving you a, a anti-rattle, so there's no play, there's no slop there. Uh, and also this uh, assembly is rated at 10,000 pounds. So it's got a GVW of 10,000 pounds, the paint is a powder coat finish, which is extremely durable and anti-corrosive. Um, it's uh, a far better finish than either spray paint or dip painting goes. Um, the other reason to have this tire carrier 
pivot up and down is so that you can access the back of your coach and I'll demonstrate that here in a moment. So we lower the tire carrier again. And now as you can see, you've got plenty of clearance so that you can access your rear compartments. Maybe you've got storage or maybe you've got oil or uh, some other fluids to check back here. But it's a convenient way to still have access to whatever's on the rear of your RV without having to unbolt and remove a bunch of equipment. So if you'd like to carry a spare with you, Roadmaster's new motorhome spare tire carrier is a great way to control the cost. You're not going to be at the mercy of your local provider. It's a great way to make sure that your tire is going to match the rest of the tread that's already on the ground. And it's a very easy way to have some peace of mind and comfort knowing that wherever you might have a blowout, you've got at hand what you need to get back on the road in a very quick and easy way. For more information about the new Roadmaster Spare Tire Carrier, log on to our website at rollinontv.com. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. Never run out of propane again. With Level Check, there's no more guesswork. Just run the gauge over the tank, and when the light turns from red to green, you'll know exactly how much propane you have left. It's that simple. Level Check, another great product from Truma. For more information, visit levelcheck.com. Winnebago's brand new Travato Touring Coach is the first Class B motorhome built on Dodge's brand new Ram 3500 Promaster chassis. Coincidentally, it's also our first opportunity to spend some time behind the wheel on one of these guys. It's a pretty slick combination. We'll take a closer look. The Travato looks great from any angle. Its sharp exterior details and clean lines present an image that should please almost any RVer with a contemporary looking Class B motorhome in mind. Winnebago's decision to use the Dodge as a base for this coach seems well done as the Promaster van is well set up for this type of service. The Promaster van is well known as the Fiat Ducato overseas and has a long track record of proven durability and performance. American buyers may take some time getting accustomed to the new van, but once they settle in, they'll enjoy the ride. We were pleased by how well the small but energetic 3.6 liter V6 motivated the coach, and its six-speed automatic with front-wheel drive powertrain provided a wide range of gears for making efficient use of the engine output. For having a small engine, this new Promaster chassis has a lot of get up and go. Acceleration onto a freeway, for example, happens pretty quickly. Surprising for a vehicle of this size with a little V6. Things are a bit cluttered under hood, as expected, but the primary maintenance access points are well positioned for ease of use. It's a commercial van base, so the cab is a bit spartan, but it's comfortable, well laid out, and the dash design makes sense. It's a little bit of getting used to to learn about the smart stocks. This one up here that has the headlights, blinkers, and so on. The one down below it, this one on the left side, has a, a cruise control features. On the right, of course, you have uh, windshield wipers and so forth. And then, and then there's the radio canceling and calling uh, and telephone signals on the, uh, the, the steering wheel. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you learn where everything is, it's a pretty comfortable ride. USB and 12 volt power outlets, map pockets in the doors, storage trays here and there, and drink holders everywhere are among the cab convenience features. A backup monitor and GPS navigation are available via the 5-inch command center screen. 
our road test trip with the Travato was about a six hour run one way and the seats are wonderful. There are all kinds of adjustments. Of course, you can adjust the height, the tilt front to back, tilt on the back. Lumbar support seems pretty good. The base of the seat seems firm, but it provides a lot of support. All things considered, it's just a very civilized ride for being a commercial van-based vehicle. And these are the stock seats that come in it, come with it from Dodge. These are not Winnebago replacement seats. They don't really need to replace them. They feel darn good, just like they are. Freeway travel is a dream in the Travato, and back roads are just as much fun. Get off the freeway and start carving up the little back road state highways. That's where this rig really shines. Great steering, great stability, good handling, good braking. Nice way to put on a few miles. Our fuel economy averaged a bit over 17 miles per gallon while driving the Travato. That's pretty darn good for a coach of this size that also has excellent performance. We reached our destination and were reminded once again that one of the real pluses for a Class B is its maneuverability. Tight quarters and sharp campground road corners are no problem for the Travato. With the bed folded up, the sleeping area becomes a toy hauler type garage that can handle bicycles or other bulky items. Fold the bed down, and it's a cozy spot for two. LED lights save power and produce less unwanted heat. The folded down bed also works as a cargo storage spot while traveling. Packing everything you need in a Class B takes some practice and occasional cargo shuffling around. We found enough places for our gear and even had some extra space available. A sliding, form-fitting screen door allows you to close off the entire side entry opening against the intrusion of bugs. Privacy screens are included for the rear door, sliding side door, and cab area windows. Out back, the screens snap into place, and up front, it's Velcro tabs that supply the holding power. For more about the Travato Class B, stick around and we'll relate the rest of the story after the break. Is it now the perfect time to turn your old pop-up tent trailer from looking like this to looking like this? Treat yourself and your family to a bug-free camping season with a new tent canvas from Canvas Replacements. To learn more or to order a new canvas, visit canvasreplacements.com or call 800-232-2079. Be sure and visit the new RollingOnTV.com where you'll find weekly shows along with a selection of videos, stories, information, and the latest RV news. Our lifestyle pages are full of great stories about places to go, things to do, and what's new. Written by our viewers and RV writers from around the country. And if you're into great food and drinks, then visit our food and beverage pages where we'll get your taste buds up and ready for an Epicurean adventure. All this and more on the new RollingOnTV.com. Welcome back to Rolling On TV. We'll continue our user report about the new Winnebago Travato Class B motorhome. Winnebago groups some vehicle system monitors and controls in one convenient location. A powered electric step improves access to the interior. We have no problem with manually operated devices, but we have to admit, the powered awning kind of grows on you. Coach utility access points are conveniently grouped on the driver's side. The dump valves and exhaust hang a bit low, but they still clear the average parking spot wheel stop. A wet bath is pretty common in a Class B, and the Travato is no exception. The space is tight, of course, but it's enough to do the job. A cook has to choose wisely when packing the kitchen storage in a Class B. 
Overhead cabinet space is secured by a solid latching door and its laminate finish looks really classy. Small but functional sink and stove units are flush mounted in the kitchen's laminate countertop and storage drawers are close by and seem well made. The microwave and refrigerator are directly opposite along with more storage space for cooking convenience. Turning around the driver and passenger seats provides extra guest accommodation at the dinette. Table access is good, even for a big person, but the tables seem fairly wobbly for mealtime use. Overhead lighting, the radio and TV are easy to reach from the dining table position. The TV is definitely best viewed from the turned around front seats. An average sized person can park at the dinette with ease. The dinette table includes a swing-out table extension for a little extra space. A clever mechanism and support structure enables the table to fold down as a base for the auxiliary bed. Cushions are rearranged and the sliding hassock extension fills the aisle gap to complete the bed that would best fit a younger or smaller person. The small space in a Class B is no problem for us as we spend most of our non-sleeping time outside the rig. We set up the meals inside, then do our cooking and relaxing outdoors when the weather permits. We were very lucky on this springtime trip in Washington and Oregon. We thoroughly enjoyed our Travato camping and travel time. It nicely packages a smart set of Class B features in a well-built, fun, and functional coach. To learn more about the Travato, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at Jayco.com or just log on to RollingOnTV.com. At Norco, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norco refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norco RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norco.com. Like you'd imagine, every place you travel has its own signature flavors. During my RV adventures in Australia, I came across a delicious brekkie, or breakfast to us Americans. I came across an item called a bircher, of Swiss origin, but delish down under. A simple, healthy combination of homemade muesli, yogurt, and fruit. Now, the bircher was developed in the late 19th century by Maximilian Bircher Benner a Swiss physician and nutritionalist that wanted to get more raw fruit into his patients at his Zurich sanatorium. It's built around his muesli, a combination of grains, fruits, nuts and seeds, soaked overnight and then combined with a little dairy like milk or kefir or yogurt. I find it a wonderful way to start the day. It's super simple to prepare, customizable and economic. Let me show you how you can make a bircher in your own RV kitchen. We'll begin by creating our muesli. And like I said, muesli can be created to whatever flavors you enjoy. Now today's muesli, I'm using raw almonds and I've cut them up into nice large chunks. I like them that way. They just taste really delicious and I like the crunch that they give. I've got some roasted unsalted sunflower seeds. I've got some Turkish apricots that are dried and I've cut them up into nice little pieces. I've also got some wheat bran, but you can use oat bran as well. And of course the basis of your muesli, 
it's going to be oats. Now you want to make sure that you use rolled oats. Don't use instant oats because if you do, it's going to be way too mushy. I've also got a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of salt. So let's put it together. You're going to be wowed at how simple it is to make homemade muesli. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my oats to my nice big bowl, my cinnamon and my salt, just like that. And then everything else goes in. Our almonds, our fruit, our sunflower seeds, and our bran. We're going to mix it up, and what you'll find is the oat bran in the oats, or the wheat bran in the oats, will break up the dried fruit, so it'll be distributed nice throughout. Bam! You have homemade muesli. You know exactly what's in it. It's good, and it's good for you. Now what you want to do to make your birchers, you're going to take about half a cup of muesli to a third cup of apple juice and soak it overnight. That's per serving. I like to use apple juice. You could also use milk. You could also use kefir to soak it overnight. But apple juice gives it just a nice flavor. Make sure that you use a 100% apple juice with no fillers in it. So what I've done is I've added my muesli, my apple juice, and I've soaked this overnight. And as you can see, it is a nice, delicious mix, soft and ready to be eaten. By the way, the dried fruit gets nice and soft and plump as well. So we're ready to construct our bircher. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to use some yogurt. I like to use the Foyer 0% yogurt. It's a Greek yogurt, so it's nice and thick, but it's also a little bit tart. And to my yogurt, I add just a little bit of honey to sweeten it up. Absolutely delicious that way, in my opinion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct our bircher in a beautiful glass. Now you can put it in a bowl. You could even make this in a large bowl for a family to scoop out. But for single servings, I think sometimes this is just a real elegant way to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting some yogurt in our glass, just at the bottom. Next up, I'm going to add some of the muesli. Mm. When you put it in the refrigerator at night, it's rather liquidy. But in the morning, when you take it out, it's nice and delicious. By the way, if you forget to soak your muesli overnight, or you don't want to soak it quite as long, you can soak it at least 30 minutes, please, um, or overnight. But anywhere in between works just fine. Do some tests. See what you like the best. So into my beautiful glass goes my soaked muesli. On top of this, I'm going to put some fresh fruit. I've got raspberries and I've got blueberries, but whatever fruit you like or whatever's in season, go for it. I'm just going to put these right on top, like so. And a little more yogurt, just like a yogurt parfait. Right on top. At this point, I like to add just a few chia seeds. I like to sprinkle just a little bit right on top here, like this. A little more muesli. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A little more fresh fruit. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of honey over the top. Just another little touch of sweetness. Another little plus. Just a little teeny bit. A few more chia seeds. Well, here you have it. This is absolutely beautiful. It's delicious. I know it is, and it's good for you. Now remember, you can customize your bircher any way that you like. Make your muesli with any kind of nuts, seeds, and fruit that you desire. Whatever fruit is in season, use that as your fresh fruit, and I think you're going to love it. Now, Dr. Bircher Benner served this to his patients at his sanatorium before every single meal. I think that's a little bit much, but try this for brekkie on occasion, and I think that you're really going to enjoy it. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Yvan. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos and stories, visit our new and expanded website at rollinontv.com.
For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com. Looking to buy an RV? For one of the largest selections of new and used RVs online, visit our partners at rvt.com.